Next race on the card is the cross country race. My early favourite for this race, before what, what's happened this year, was always going to be Tiger Roll. Won this race last year, then went on to win the Grand National. His favourite again this year, at five to four at the moment. Seriously impressive winner. Not expected at all, really, uh, in the Boyne Hurdle last weekend over in Ireland. That was a grade two. This has always been the target race. Did race at Cheltenham early this year when finishing fourth of Josie's orders. Not concerned by that. Gordon Elliott never had that as a plan uh, for Tiger Roll, to be perfectly honest. Like I say, although he is a very strong favourite and we fully expect him to win this race, only one of the last 12 favourites have actually gone to win the cross-country race. But I think Tiger Roll will make that two in the last 13. Other horses just to touch on, got to mention Ed Edna Bolger, really. Ovignat seems to have been around for an absolute eternity. Six to one in the market, but is only a nine-year-old still, which is, which does surprise me quite a bit, really. He won the Paddy Power Chase over Christmas, so a little bit of form bringing into Cheltenham. Uh, fourth in the race last year when well held. Uh, renews his battle with Tiger Roll and the other horse that we're going to mention off. That is Josie's orders. Now Josie's orders is also eight to one. One here in, in one at Cheltenham in November when beating Tiger Roll, as previously said, um, and then third later on in the season in the PP Hogan Memorial. Uh, does love Cheltenham, is now an 11 year old, is going to have a lot to find. You know the French are probably going to come over with one of their Raiders, no doubt, but I fully anticipate Tiger Roll to be the one to win here and potentially even go and win a second Grand National. But I expect him to win this race pretty cosily.